Hello everyone, welcome to the seventh episode of South Asia Chat, brought to you by the Institute of South Asian Studies in Singapore. This week, we have with us Dr. Iftikhar Ahmad Chaudhry, the Principal Research Fellow at ISAS. Welcome, Dr. Chaudhry. Thank you. Now, Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina has earlier this month concluded a visit to China, a momentous visit, and several reports suggest that her visit was a success on many counts. Do you agree with this conclusion? And if so, what were some of the key success markers of her visit? Yes, I would agree that uh, this visit was a success on many counts. Uh, firstly, it, uh, Bangladesh and China signed a number of uh, bilateral agreements. Uh, at a second level, uh, politically, the relations were taken to a very high strategic level of cooperation, and there was a theoretical agreement that the relations would be at, at that level. And thirdly, it enabled uh, a projection of Bangladesh as a, a rapidly developing country, uh, which could be a recipient of China's support in terms of the Belt and Road Initiative. Right. And in, against the backdrop of the bilateral relationship, how will the outcomes of her visit shape this bilateral relationship between Bangladesh and China going forward? First of all, it will uh, bring in huge amount of resources to Bangladesh, about $30 billion or so, not just because of this visit, but the visit is a, is a, point, uh, is a watershed point in, in this relationship in which these huge investments in China from China are coming in, uh, in, in various areas in Bangladesh's development uh, paradigm and, 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 and uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, 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 road bridges, etc., and also plain balance of payment support, uh, development of uh, of uh, 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 intellectual relationship with with China uh, in that in that sense, in the sense of uh, transfer of technology, etc. Thirdly, the possibility that there could be a relocation of industries. In, uh, from China on a sustainable basis to Bangladesh because uh, Chinese uh, uh, labor costs are getting high. Bangladesh is already the second largest garment producing uh, uh, country in the world. And there are, there are possibilities that there could be at higher end industries which could also be relocated. That's great. But of course, like in many other things in international relations, this bilateral relationship cannot also be viewed in silo. In particular, do you see the upgrading of ties to a near str strategic level between the two countries also impacting Dhaka's separate relations with U.S. and India? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, Dhaka is ha will be having to navigate very carefully in this, uh, but uh, to a certain extent, a paradigm has been established. Uh, <coughs> Dhaka relies more uh, uh, in terms of security more on India uh, Bangladesh is largely India locked, as you know, geographically, and not just only geographically, in other ways also. So security is where Bangladesh uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, relates to India more. Uh, development, because India doesn't, uh, is not able to provide the wherewithal, the kind of resources that Bangladesh requires. Bangladesh would have to lead towards uh, China. Uh, China has huge, huge, massive uh, capital uh, to, uh, which it is ab able to provide. So a, a, a design has been uh, evolved whereby in the same project as in the project of uh, a port called Paira, uh, there are, say, for example, six, uh, six or seven components to the project. One or two components India is providing and four components China is providing. So this is an example where a BRI project, uh, in a BRI project, India is involved, even though India hasn't signed on to the Belt and Road Initiative. I see. And what about Dhaka's relations with Washington? Dhaka's relationship with Washington actually can be dealing from the relationship with, with uh, China in some ways, and also linked in others. Uh, b uh, the United States remains and is likely to remain one of the largest uh, buyers of Bangladeshi garments. Uh, Bangladesh uh, 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 sort of exports 30 to 32 billion worth of uh, garments to the world. Europe and uh, America are the, uh, are, are the most common destinations. And then the other thing that I just spoke of, the possibility of relocation of certain industries from China to Bangladesh, um, industries from which 
uh, America has been so far uh, importing, but now that uh, uh, there is the sanctions regime on China, it is a possibility that American import will move to Bangladesh. But here Bangladesh cannot be and ought not to be seen as taking advantage of the U.S.-China spat. So it has to find its own diplomatic sweet spot in what is a difficult international situation. Certainly, as, as a former diplomat yourself, I'm sure you understand that very well. Thank you very much. But it will be left to my successors to carry that <laughs> Certainly. out. Certainly. And very quickly before we go, um, I understand that during Madam Hasina's visit to China, there is also a Philip in Bangladesh's um, position in the World Economic Forum going forward. Well, that is, that is true. That is very much true. Uh, uh, this is the World Economic Forum in, in Davos, uh, in Switzerland. Uh, um, 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 the Prime Minister had a meeting with uh, uh, Klaus Schwarz, in, uh, the, the head of WEF in, in Dalian. Uh, it is expected that uh, an entire session, though I do not, uh, we are not aware as to how, how big it would be, a session would be devoted to Bangladesh in the next Davos. And there is the Bangladesh private sector, which is already very enthusiastic about it. Mm -hmm. So I expect a, a combination of uh, private sector, public sector projection of Bangladesh's economic potentials in the next WEF forum. Great. Thank you, Dr. F. Chaudhry, for sharing with us your insights into Madam Hasina's visit to China. Certainly, this is a relationship that we will watch closely. It could have major impact, not just on South Asia, but other parts of the world, as you have pointed out. Thank you, Manminder. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Dear listeners, thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this session on South Asia Chat. Do tune in again soon to hear fr from us. Have a good week ahead, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.